Ahoy there, Creasers, and welcome to another episode of Cruise with Ben and David. I'm Teresa Green. And I'm Paige Turner. We're going to be talking about some of the best and worst cruise ports. Yes, yeah, so make sure you watch our video so you can avoid any bad ports and find out which ones are the ones you want to be looking for when you're looking at cruises. So should we start off with the positive and talk about one of the ports that we absolutely adore? It has to be Barcelona. Barcelona. Oh my god guys, this is such an amazing city with so much on offer. You've got amazing beaches, you've got the Las Ramblas which is the high street, you've got the Sagrada Familia and Gaudi's Park. It's just a stunning place to visit. It's really close to the port as well. Yeah, it's a really cool city to visit. It's got a really chilled vibe. It is, you know, I feel comfortable, safe walking around there. Obviously, just be aware of like pickpockets and things, but you know, there's so much to do. Great for shopping as well. Yeah, and the food and drink is fantastic as well. You've got the fresh market, as well as loads of restaurants and quick eat places. And the drinks, as we said, are really good too. Grab, grab some shang, 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 shangria. So one of the things that's really great about Barcelona and the port is that it's so close to the center. It's only about five minutes away. There's a shuttle bus on offer. This only takes five minutes and it only costs four euros per person return, which is such a bargain. You can buy the tickets on the bus with cash only and they take denominations of up to 10 euros. So make sure you bring some change with you. And if you're feeling fit, you can walk into the town. Absolutely. It is well, it is pedestrianised, it's well signposted, but it is a big old bridge you've got to get yourself over, isn't it? Yeah, but there's so much to do. And whilst you're on the bridge, you can have a look at the marina and all of the amazing yachts and the other ships. But yeah, there's so much to do in Barcelona, guys. We really highly recommend it. So guys, it has to happen. Let's talk about one of the ports that we don't particularly like. This has to be Rome Civitavecchia mm. Chivet port. Yeah, it's not so much Rome itself. Oh, we Rome don't is like. incredible. Yeah, it's the port. Yeah, so it takes about an hour by car or about about forty five minutes on the fast train to get into central Rome. So make sure you give yourself plenty of time by getting off the ship very early in the morning. It is completely doable. It's quite expensive though. If you want to book a car into the city, it can cost easily up to 120, 130 euros each way. So we recommend either booking an excursion with the ship, which can usually save you a little bit of money, or going by train, because this is a lot cheaper. Yeah, the trains are really inexpensive. They take around 45 minutes on the high-speed train, and they take around, they cost around 10 to 15 euros. When you buy your ticket, it can be a little bit confusing trying to work out which train you need. They also have different classes, but a big tip here is to make sure that once you've got your tickets, you actually validate your tickets before you get on your train because you don't want to be fined on the train. Of course, because Rome is so far from the port, you just have to make sure that you're getting back in time. So yeah. you do need to leave plenty of time if you take taking the train and then you got to get from the train station back to the port. Absolutely. And there are several companies online which offer bus transfers there and back to the port from Rome. And these cost about $35 per person return. So make sure you pick a reputable company if you're gonna do it this way. But guys, in the end, the port might not be very nice, but the city is fantastic. Rome is such a beautiful place to visit with so many amazing attractions and history. So we do recommend Rome itself. So let's go, let's, let's, let's change her to our happy faces to uh, a port we love, which is Valletta in Malta. This is an absolutely gorgeous gorgeous port it's a fantastic place to visit it's such a beautiful medieval city and it's streaked in history there is so much to do one of the most fantastic things is that the port is right in the center of the city as well so it's walkable in about five minutes to get from the ship to the main part in the city there's loads of shops and entertainment and dining it's just a really beautiful place the locals are incredibly friendly as well we just really recommend it it's such a nice place to visit also, most of the locals, actually pretty much all the locals, speak English, so yeah. it's really good if you are an English speaker. When you arrive at the port, it is close to the town, it is quite a steep hill, so uh, a tip here is to do the hop-on, hop-off bus, because Absolutely. it picks you up right at the port, so you don't have to do that steep hill, and you can literally get around the whole island of Malta in a day with the hop-on, hop-off. Yeah, we did it on our last one where we went down to the south coast to have a look at some of the amazing Blue Lagoon caves, was so fantastic and it's such good value for money we paid 20 euros per person for the full day to explore malta 
at our own pace as well. It was so much fun. So guys, back to one of the ports that we really don't like, and I've got to say we really don't like this one. It happens to be Nassau in the Bahamas. Really, the only reason we don't like it is because crime is quite rife here. So unless you're doing an organized tour, there really isn't that much you can do. I mean, you do have the Atlantis Resort, which is quite expensive, but mm -hmm. it is a really good fun day. But we just have to say there are so many other Caribbean islands that are so fantastic and so many more beautiful things to do in there. So for us, this is a day where we would stay on the ship while it's a little bit quieter and enjoy all of the amazing ship facilities. It's quite frustrating because you do actually see this on a lot of Caribbean yeah. itineraries. Yeah. And you know, you just think, why? Why are we going here? Yeah, so last time we were there, it's quite aggressive when you get off the ship. So you have a lot of people approaching you to go, trying to get you to go on tours and things like mm -hmm. that. And we don't want to scare people, but there has been kidnappings and murders and stuff, which happen everywhere, but it is a bit more of a, a, cri a crime-ridden island. Yeah, we just didn't feel comfortable. Yeah, yeah. That, that, I think that's what it puts it down to. We didn't feel comfortable getting off the ship there. And that's not what you want to hold it. Yeah, but don't be put off though. I mean, I know we've, we've said all these things, but if you book a tour on board of the ship, so one of the cruise excursions, you can still have a fantastic time because these are a lot more safer. And that goes for any cruise port. We get asked questions a lot about what did we do in X port because maybe it's not so safe yeah. or things like that. Well, if it is a port of safe, St. Petersburg, where we were quite worried about it, we just booked an organized tour. So you had the security of the tour. Absolutely. So let's talk about another negative while we're on this train because we want to end on a positive. I think it would have to be Rotan in Honduras. And again, for the same reasons, crime is really rife here and it's a little bit of a dangerous place away from the port. It's quite dirty and smelly but yeah it's it's not one of the most nicest places we've been in the caribbean and it is again somewhere that we would avoid yeah again i just don't want to get off the ship yeah. when it arrives and i just want to stay on board yeah, and yeah. enjoy the ship there are some organized tours such as uh, such as to the ruins as well which are absolutely fine if you go on a, an official excursion they're quite safe to do so definitely stick to doing one of the official tours if you end up here in honduras and on honduras unfortunately has one of the highest murder rates in the world which is you know, it's not a great thing to think about when you're visiting there, Absolutely, is it? Absolutely, yeah. You want to go somewhere safer. And as we say, in the Caribbean, there are so many more beautiful, nicer islands. Such as one of our favourite places. places. Yeah, so let's yeah. go on to a happier note. Is our favourite, our last favourite destination in the Caribbean is St. Martin. Yeah. So we did visit, our, our last visit was before the, um, the hurricane. hurricane. Yeah, it's such a beautiful island, guys. It's a great place as well. You, you're just a few minutes walk from the port when you arrive there. There's so much really nice shopping and a really nice Caribbean feel. There's an amazing beach just around the corner from the port as well, where you can get some really nice treat drinks and just chill on the beach, as well as doing some amazing things like scuba diving. If you're aware of the famous airport as well, which is called Marhol Beach, and it's the the St. Martin Airport, where the planes fly really close over the beach. You can go there as well. We've been there a few times yeah. and it's so much fun. Just make sure you don't get uh, too close to the planes because you don't want to get sandblasted. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's just a really welcoming, friendly island. I feel really comfortable and relaxed just getting off the ship and walking into the town. You can walk into the town. It's about, was it about a 20 minute walk? Yeah, yeah, it was but just it was a really a nice, nice walk. It was a nice walk, wasn't it? Um, oh, there is taxis and stuff. We've used taxis in St. Martin before to get around the island, yeah. completely fine. And we've also gotten off the ship and sort of battered with local excursion people yeah, yeah. in the port. And got some stuff. really good bargains. But yeah, the island's split into two halves. You usually dock in the Dutch side, but there's also a French side of the island as well. And both sides are quite different. So it's really nice to soak up the different culture aboard this beautiful Caribbean island. And we always advise is whenever you get in a taxi at any port is to make sure that they are licensed and that you agree a price before you even sit, get into the car. Absolutely, that goes for just about absolutely everywhere. Always agree a price before you get into a car. Even in Italy, we've been ripped off a few times by them charging yeah. us like double what it should be. But yeah, guys, I mean, there's so many amazing places. These are just a few that we've picked out. We also really love Barbados, Antigua, St. Lucia, Puerto Rico, Oh, Cozumel, there's so many fantastic yeah, ports isn't there, around the ports, Caribbean. Yeah. And Europe as well, there's so many fantastic ports and some not so good ones as well. So we will definitely bring you those in a future episode. Definitely let us know in the comments below as well. We would absolutely love to know what ports you love and which port you don't love. And you can get in touch with us on social media, on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, where you can carry on the conversation, letting us know 
what your favourite parts are and send us pictures. We love to see yeah, all your photos. Yeah, we love to see your pictures. Yeah, guys, we're always posting on Instagram as well, live from everywhere we go. And make sure you give us a subscribe in our channel. Press that button right now because we've got so much fab content coming up and we don't want you to miss out, so hit the bell button as well. And if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't like this video, go away. Yeah, what are you doing here still? Leave. We're sorry. But yeah, guys, that's it till next time. Happy, Happy cruising. cruising.